Hey, this is Keith at Custom Works and welcome to our channel. So for a long time, we've been wondering, does throttle body size make a difference? And I've seen videos out there where um, uh, possibly did. So we wanted to find out for ourselves, you know, uh, thanks to Chassis Dyno Solutions, um, Andrew over there, uh, for letting us use his dyno, which we do a lot. And um, we uh, did a back-to-back -back test with nothing changed. No tuning changes at all. We didn't change anything. So um, it was really apples for apples on this thing. And um, it was on a highly modified engine. Specs are right here. And um, you'll see the results, what we did. And um, before you see the results, what I want you to do, leave some comments. What do you think? Do you think the, the 92 millimeter um, or, or the 102 millimeter, which, what, what the effect might be, more power down low, more, more power up high? What do you think? I want to hear your comments. And also hit the like and subscribe. You know, we're going to make more videos like this. Um, and if you have any ideas for videos that you'd like to see, you know, let us know. We dyno cars a lot. And if we can fit something in, we'll do it. And and by the way, this stuff, you know, nobody's sponsoring us. And, you know, other than Chassis Dyno Solutions helping out with this. Um, you know, we're doing this for our own knowledge and experience and stuff. And, uh, you know, we put a lot of time into doing this thing. Um uh, we probably spent, you know, five hours, you know, with, with getting the car on the dyno, strapping it on and all that stuff to, uh, to do this and time to make the video. So it'd be much appreciated if you just gave us, you know, a little thanks, whatever. So anyways, to the foot. for you too so so we printed it out it's a lot easier to see than on the computer screen and um, as you can see they literally are, are identical um, let me zoom in a little bit closer um, so what you can see is um, 492.7 493.8 530 528 horsepower and I mean it's I mean, this is identical. So, if you don't recall from the last video, the engine that this thing's on is a 416 LS3 with a big cam, um, trick flow Gen X 255 heads. I mean, it, it's a runner engine, so it makes big power. So, anyway, so that's the comparison of the two. All right, well, we're back at Custom Works headquarters, and what do you guys think of the video? So, I mean, were you surprised? Were you not surprised? And stuff like that. I was a little surprised. A um, little bit. Not a lot. A little bit. But, the dyno doesn't tell you everything. Okay? So, one of the things that we figured out, because I'd actually had the 102 on there first. I, I drove it around. Tree, tuned it a little bit. Um, 
putting the 92 millimeter on there and running it on the dyno, I, I, I sort of noticed that it sounded a little different, seemed to pick up RPM a little bit quicker. And on the street, it was quite a bit different. Um, I'm going to say that the idle quality was a little bit better, the tip-in was better, and you know, from off idle, you know, up up, you know, to the, the the torque peak, it seemed like it picked up RPM a little bit faster. So, I'm not saying on every engine, you know, a 92 is going to outperform a 102. I'm saying on engines similar to this, um, especially something that's maybe a, a stock LS2, LS3, LS1 with a, a cam or something in it. Um, I really don't think that in most cases with a factory style intake, you're going to get a benefit from a, a larger throttle body. Now, if you put something like a high ram intake manifold on it, yeah, most likely if it's not boosted, it's just an NA motor. Um, you're going to probably want a, a bigger throttle body just because as, as you go up in RPM, you really need a lot more air. And again, we dyno this thing uh, to about 6,700 RPM, 6,800 um, and um, so, you know, it's what we found. We're not trying to make a buck and sell you anything. Uh, no snake oil here. Um, you know, so, you know, saying that you could run either or and kind of get the same results, I'm gonna say no. What I'm gonna say is the 92 millimeter throttle body was probably the best way to go um, in this combination, um, so. Hey, leave your comments, your thoughts, thumbs up, subscribe. We appreciate it. So, uh, man, we put a lot into making these uh, these videos. Sorry, the quality is not, you know, anything crazy, but you know, I'm, I'm not a videographer, you know. So, anyways, I hope you liked it. Watch for the next one. Thanks for watching.